In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on January 26, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Dallas Mavericks vs. Atlanta Hawks In the upcoming matchup between the Dallas Mavericks and the Atlanta Hawks, two teams with aspirations to improve their positions and their respective playoff pictures will clash in Atlanta. The Mavericks, coming off a 132-109 home defeat against Phoenix, will hit the road to face the Hawks on Friday night. In their recent outing, Dallas failed to cover the line as a two-and-a-half point underdog. Similarly, the Hawks suffered a 134-112 road loss to Golden State, failing to cover the line as a six-and-a-half point underdog in their previous game. The all-time regular season series favors the Hawks with a 47-37 advantage, and they have secured victories in the last two meetings, including a 132-130 overtime win on April 2, 2023. The Dallas Mavericks find themselves in a challenging stretch, having lost four of their last five games. Their aim is to break a three-game skid after a tough 132-109 loss to the Suns. Luka Doncic showcased an impressive performance, leading the team with 34 points, eight rebounds, and nine assists. Despite a strong start, the Mavericks couldn't maintain momentum, eventually trailing by as many as 29 points. Tim Hardaway Jr. contributed 17 points off the bench, and Jaden Hardy added 11 points. However, the team struggled collectively, shooting four 46% from the field and 17 of 43 from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, the Atlanta Hawks are also facing challenges, losing five of their last eight games. They aim to halt a three-game skid following a 134-112 defeat against the Warriors. DeJount Murray led the team with 23 points, seven rebounds, and seven assists, while Jalen Johnson and Sadik Bay made significant contributions. Despite a strong second quarter, the Hawks went cold in the second half, getting outscored by 65-40. Garrison Matthews had a challenging game, scoring just three points on one of seven shooting off the bench. As the Mavericks prepare for the matchup, they may be without Kyrie Irving, listed as questionable. The Hawks are closely monitoring the availability of Wesley Matthews and Trey Young, both listed as questionable. Both teams are grappling with three consecutive losses, and injury concerns linger on both sides, with the Hawks missing key starters in Hunter and Young. While Irving's status remains uncertain for Dallas, Atlanta's defensive struggles are evident, conceding an average of 124 points in their last three games, slightly worse than their season-long average, which ranks third worst in the league. Despite being at home with an 8-12 record, the Hawks face a daunting task in containing Luka Doncic, and Dallas is poised to exploit Atlanta's defensive vulnerabilities for a victory. The recent performances of both teams highlight their struggles, with the Mavericks losing four of their last five games and the Hawks on a three-game losing streak. However, the presence of Luka Doncic gives the Mavericks an edge. The Hawks, with an 11-33 against the spread record, are the least effective team in terms of covering the spread in the NBA. With injury concerns and defensive challenges for the Hawks, so the Dallas Mavericks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Looking at the statistical trends, the Dallas Mavericks have gone over the total in 23 of their 44 games this season, ranking second in the league. They also stand as the second best team in turnovers per game with 12.2, while maintaining the eighth fastest tempo with 100.3 possessions per night. On the other hand, the Atlanta Hawks have exceeded the total in 24 of their 44 games this season, placing them 20th in turnovers with 14 miscues per contest and ranking fifth in pace with 101.3 possessions per game. Both teams struggle defensively, and their offenses have been consistent. Dallas has a record of 23-20-1 in hitting the over this season, including an 11-8-1 record on the road. The Hawks are 24-20 in hitting the over. With both teams playing at a high pace and lacking defensive prowess, the expectation is for a fast-paced game with limited defense and ample offense. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Houston Rockets vs. Charlotte Hornets. In an interconference showdown in the vibrant Buzz City, two teams with aspirations to climb the standings are set to clash as the Houston Rockets hit the road to face the Charlotte Hornets on a Friday night. The Rockets, coming off a heart-wrenching 137-131 overtime loss at home against Portland on Wednesday, are determined to rebound and regain momentum. Despite being a 10-point favorite, Houston fell short, marking their fifth loss in the last six games. On the other side, the Hornets faced a setback with a 113-106 road defeat against the Pistons, failing to cover the two-and-a-half-point underdog spread in their previous game. Historically, the Rockets hold a commanding 49-19 lead in the all-time Time regular season series and have secured victories in the last two matchups, including a 128 to 119 win at home on November 1, 2023. The Houston Rockets find themselves in a challenging stretch, having lost five of their last six games. Their most recent encounter ended in a heartbreakingly close 137 to 131 overtime loss to the Trail Blazers. Despite notable performances from Alper and Sengun, Jalen Green and Fred Van Vliet. The Rockets couldn't secure the win, shooting 53% from the field. In a turn of events, the Charlotte Hornets are grappling with their own struggles, having dropped eight of their last 10 games. The recent 113-106 road loss to the Pistons saw Brandon Miller, Nick Richards, and Miles Bridges making significant contributions. The Hornets displayed a promising third quarter but faltered in the final minutes, allowing the Pistons to slip away. As the Houston Rockets prepare for the clash with the Charlotte Hornets, uncertainties loom over the availability of Yeezy and Tate and Reggie Bullock, both listed as questionable. In contrast, the Hornets enter the game with a full squad. Houston is currently navigating through their worst slump of the season, still reeling from the agonizing overtime loss to the Trail Blazers. On the other hand, the Hornets are grappling with ongoing struggles and are at a low point after falling to the league-worst Pistons. Charlotte faces challenges on both ends of the court this season, ranking third-worst in scoring offense and seventh-worst in scoring defense. Defense. The recent trade of Terry Rozier to Miami further complicates their situation depriving them of a key scorer and floor spacer. While Houston has encountered difficulties with five losses in their last six games, they remain on the brink of the playoff picture in the competitive Western Conference, boasting a roster with capable pieces. The Hornets, now without Terry Rozier, will look to Lamilo Ball and Brandon Miller to carry the team. Despite a tough recent outing, Ball is expected to bounce back, although the absence of Rozier's 23 points per game poses a challenge for Charlotte. The Rockets aim to recover from their subpar performance against the Blazers, while the Hornets, having failed to cover the spread in eight of their last ten games, face an uphill battle. Both the Houston Rockets and the Charlotte Hornets have struggled recently, each posting a 2-8 against the spread record in their last ten games. Despite their struggles, the Rockets exhibit more vitality this season, positioning themselves for a potential playoff push. In contrast, the Hornets, with only ten wins and a 16-26 against the spread record, seem to be heading towards a rebuild, especially after parting ways with Terry Rozier. The outlook for supporting the Hornets is not promising, making them a less appealing choice. With confidence waning in both teams, the Houston Rockets have already proven their superiority by defeating the Charlotte Hornets once this season. Expecting them to repeat this success and sweep the season series, the Houston Rockets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Heading into this contest, the Houston Rockets rank 23rd in pace of play. Although they have their point guard Fred Van Vliet back in the lineup after recovering from a back injury, he played 46 minutes against Portland, indicating his fitness. Jabari Smith Jr. missed the last two games for Houston with a sprained left ankle, but he should return soon after playing in the game prior to the loss against Portland. Cam Whitmore, who started in Smith's absence, is expected to play a significant role in this matchup. With the total going over in 10 of Houston's last 15 games, and considering Charlotte's penchant for pushing the pace with Lamilo Ball, the Rockets are likely to reciprocate. As a result, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Phoenix Suns vs. Indiana Pacers The Phoenix Suns are set to face the Indiana Pacers in an anticipated East-West clash on Friday night. The Suns, currently riding a seven-game winning streak, are in excellent form with their full starting lineup back in action. On the flip side, the Pacers find themselves in a challenging position, having lost three of their last games and five of the last six, with Tyrese Halliburton still sidelined due to a hamstring issue. Having secured victory in 12 of their last 15 games, the Phoenix Suns are eager to to extend their impressive seven-game winning streak. 
In their recent 132-109 road win against the Mavericks, Devin Booker shot with 46 points on 17 of 23 shooting. Despite a sluggish start that saw them trailing by 16 points in the first quarter, the Suns rallied, shooting 60% from the field and 14 of 34 from the three-point line to dominate the game. Contrastingly, the Indiana Pacers have been struggling, losing five of their last seven games. However, they exhibited resilience in their recent 134-122 home win against the 76ers, with Pascal Siakam leading the charge with a triple-double. The Pacers shot an impressive 57% from the field and 12 of 28 from the three-point line, showcasing determination and control throughout the game. The Suns are closely monitoring the status of Eric Gordon, listed as questionable, while the Pacers are still grappling with the absence of Tyrese Halliburton. Phoenix appears to be finding their rhythm with the trio of Durant, Booker, and Beal on the court. On the other hand, the Pacers, on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, may once again be without the services of Halliburton. The Suns' acquisition of Bradley Beal in the offseason seems to be paying off, providing them with three top flight scoring options and effective floor spacing. This plays to their advantage against the Pacers, who prefer a fast-paced, long-range shooting style. Without Halliburton, the Pacers have struggled, going 3-5 in their recent games, emphasizing the significance of his presence on both ends of the court. Despite the Pacers' commendable performance against the defending champs, their offensive rating has been hampered by the absence of Tyrese Halliburton. While Pascal Siakam strengthens their roster, his effectiveness is likely to be maximized with Halliburton's return. Unfortunately, Halliburton will be sidelined for the upcoming game, and the Suns, fueled by the synergy of Durant, Booker and Beal aim to capitalize on their current momentum. As the Suns showcase some of their best basketball this season, boasting a fully healthy roster, they enter the game with confidence following their decisive win against the Mavericks. The Pacers, despite a notable victory over the 76ers, face the challenge of replicating that effort on zero days rest. In terms of health and recent performance, the Phoenix Suns emerge as the stronger and more rested team. Their victory against the Pacers by seven points in their previous meeting adds to their confidence. Therefore, the Phoenix Suns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Beyond offensive prowess, the Pacers lead the league in offensive rating and maintain a high pace of play. However, the absence of Tyrese Halliburton, a key contributor to their offensive efficiency, poses a challenge. The Suns have improved defensively, ranking 16th in defensive efficiency, though turnovers remain an issue. Expecting a lower scoring contest, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.